Hey, it's me, the Coopinator, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make fire. So first thing, uh, well, I'm sorry, because I've been waiting for it to rain so I could show you how to do this. Now, what you want to do is find a nice, safe spot. I'm not going to be doing a massive fire, just so you know. Okay. All right. So first thing what you want to do is, uh, first, you might want to have some adult supervision. I'm just saying that. So, what you want to do is... You want to find a zap sap vein. Right there. All right? Now, you whip out your knife. Take it. And scoop that sap out. So now that you have your sap, now you want to go back to your fire spot, plop it down. See that? All right. Now, I already have some cut, but you don't need them. sap wood. I cut those out. If you do not have access to sap wood, that is fine. Find some of these pine needles that are brown. But if you don't have much time, just look around for the brownest stuff that you can find. For me. And also... If it craps, it snaps. Or cracks, it snaps. So, if you find a piece of wood that is cracking, then it's good. I was taught that fires are like a salad. You gotta put the small stuff, and then you keep layering it on bigger and bigger. So now, that you have a couple you got to have what after, because you don't want to start it again. So, this stuff is going to help me get it going. So, I just set a little bit of brown stuff. Now, get your, whatever you're lighting it with. And light the sap. Okay. See that? Now I've got a little fire going. See? Now I put it out. Not to fear. If it does go out, just start it up again. Sap goes up really easy, really quick. See that? So, it's really pretty hard to get a fire going in my conditions. See that? Got the fire going. Now, you got to keep it going. Find some more dry stuff. First, though, if you can find some moss, it's one of the better things, even when it's wet. But if it is wet, you don't want to just plop it on, because that'll kill the fire. You want to just set it on right by the flame. Make sure it has enough oxygen. If you hear that chirping, that is a chipmunk. So see that little stick? It's on fire. So now, 
You want to get a little bit bigger of a stick. Not longer, just thicker. And put that on. If you do blow on the fire, don't blow like... <sighs> blow more like... <sighs> just a soft little one to get it some more oxygen. So, as you can see, I put my fire out. But if you need it to keep going, just move it. Is that my cat? Look. Here's a... There's a cat up there. I don't know if you can see her, but she's right up in that Madrona. Right there, you can see her moving up there. She's hunting down a chipmunk. But anyway, that is how you make a fire. Hope you enjoyed. Next video is probably going to be something like how to shoot cans with a BB gun or something like that. Well, and then maybe we'll do like some squirrel hunting. Maybe. Well, that's all for today. Bye!